Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com with our update for Thursday, March 14th, 2019. Got a free pick. College basketball tourney action coming up on this report. First, a quick note, if you've yet to become a member over at DocSports.com, real cool way to give it a trial run. You click on the link below the video, get set up for a free $60 account, which you can use on any of my daily packages or anybody else over at DocSports.com. Again, free $60 package is how you give it a trial run. You start by clicking on the link below the video. Also wanted to tell you that those who jumped on board yesterday in college basketball and took advantage of that 50% off went 3-1 and one with our tourney plays on Wednesday. And uh, we mentioned very situational is our handicapping when it comes to the college basketball conference tourneys. We've given out seven so far. Conference tourney plays, premium plays at DocSports.com. We're off to a winning start. And uh, we've been a 16-5 winning year's run with our college basketball conference tournaments the big dance, the smaller tournaments. And don't forget, you can still go over to DocSports.com, grab the rest of my college basketball picks through the championship game in April, all uh, for only $299. Big discount off the regular price. So go check that out. Again, we're off to a winning start. Seven tournament plays in the books, and we're ahead. And again, last night, a nice three-in-one night in college basketball tournament play. Uh, we had UAB, we had St. John's, we had North Texas. The loser was Richmond, which by the way, was covering the spread with less than a minute to go, and then all of a sudden couldn't score. They won by two, but they fell short of the spread. So we'll take three and one any night of the week. And also on uh, Thursday's card, we have two more plays, two more conference tournament situational plays. We've talked about these. We release them and talk about them in our analysis and write-up so you can use those moving forward. You can keep those handy, use them next year. These are long-term uh, winning situations and conference tournament play that we're talking about, not just – Play, uh, plays that came up over the last year or two. These are big sample size plays. So go check those out. It includes a six unit play on Thursday and those plays will be available on Thursday morning over at DocSports.com. Six unit play, four unit play. Let's go 2-0 and after the 3-1 and Wednesday. We'll go 2-0 and on Thursday college basketball action. One play in the NBA, one play in the NHL on Thursday and those will be available Thursday morning also. Uh, hey, wanted to mention real quick because I was asked on uh, Twitter, somebody DM'd me and asked about NASCAR. And we'll have those picks up for this week's race. We like this week's race. And we'll have them up this weekend. Last week was our first uh, two win picks that we gave out in NASCAR of this season. And we cashed Kurt Busch, excuse me, Kyle Busch, uh, getting the win in Phoenix. And in fact, we had four of the top five drivers uh, by the end of the race in Phoenix this past week. So we'll have those picks for you on the weekend, along with the AAF, the new football league, where we're still undefeated this season, perfect 3-0. and uh, We'll have some UFC action also, and you know how well we've done there. 15-6, and six, up about $4,000 for $100, $100 per unit betters in fight action since we jumped on board at Docs almost a year ago. Free pick in a moment. Wanted to uh, talk one more time, like a part two, I guess, uh, with this NFL trade, the Cleveland Browns picking up Odell Beckham Jr. and our good friend Rafael Esparza over at DocSports.com. He's, of course, uh, been a, an odds maker for many, many years, both in Las Vegas and offshore. And uh, he started the ball rolling with a lot of these odds and uh, on yesterday morning And uh, for my bookie, by the way, an offshore book. And I just wanted to talk about a couple of them. We talked a little bit last night about one of the divisional opponents that Cleveland will have to face twice being the Pittsburgh Steelers. And we think that you know, the, the general public is undervaluing, if you will, the Pittsburgh Steelers. They've dropped from about 15 to 1 down to about 30 to 1. And um, we just happen to think Pittsburgh is a little bit better and has a good shot at a 10-win season this year. You can go check out yesterday's video if you want to hear about Pittsburgh. But I wanted to mention a few of these um, numbers that Rafael posted at my bookie and uh, what we think about them. First of all, uh, will the Cleveland Browns make or miss the playoffs? Will they miss uh, he's got uh, the, excuse me, Will the Browns make the playoffs? He's got yes plus $1.75, no minus $2.50. So uh, Raphael over at my bookie hung minus $2.50, big favorite that the Browns will not make the playoffs this season. He's got will they make, uh, will they win a playoff game? Yes pl plus 400, no minus 700. AFC North division odds, Cleveland plus $1.75. Pittsburgh plus 200, Baltimore plus 250, Cincinnati plus 700. We feel, of course, uh, their chief rival this year is going to be Pittsburgh. We think Baltimore drops off a little bit. Uh, regular season player props. How about Odell Beckham, total receptions over under 89 and a half receptions. And for most of the last, what, four or five years that he's been in the league, 
Uh, he's gone overrated nine and a half. He had the injury a couple of seasons ago and kept him out. Uh, missed a lot of football two years ago. Uh, but over under 89 and a half, over under receiving yards, 1150. And over under there is both minus $1.20 on that. Odell Beckham touchdown receptions, over nine and under nine, both minus $1.20 in that one. And again, we think if he stays healthy, he's got a great shot to go over the total of nine touchdown receptions and likely over 89 and a half total receptions. As far as the other stuff with Cleveland, the over-under wins total for the Cleveland Browns for Raphael was 9.5 over plus 100 under minus 120. And we do think they got a great shot, really good shot, I should say, at, at getting to the 10-win mark to the Cleveland Browns this year. Um, that doesn't give you a lot of cushion off that 9.5, and, and we like to have more cushion on plays we get involved in. But, you know, just looking at their schedule, we don't have the dates yet or what game follows which opponent, that kind of stuff yet, which matters, obviously, when you're looking at over-under win props, but their schedule at home, of course, the divisional games, Ravens, Bengals, Steelers, who they'll also play on the road, but their out-of-division home games are against the Dolphins, which is going to be one of the worst teams in the league. The Bills are 100-1. Uh, they'll host the Seahawks, the Rams, and the Titans. And when you combine all those games and come up with those eight homers, you know, you're looking at a decent shot at at least 6-2 and two out of Cleveland. Then you look at the road games, of course, again, the divisional road games, Ravens, Steelers, and Bengals. But then they got the Jets, the Patriots, the Cards, the Niners, and the Broncos. And really the only game in there that looks like it's going to be a tough out for uh, the Cleveland Browns will be when they uh, play at New England against the Patriots. They should handle the Jets. They should handle the Cardinals. The Niners will be better this year than last year. They'll be healthy at quarterback. That could be a loss. Always when you play at Denver, it could be a loss. And then, of course, again, you got to factor how these games, you know, which opponents they're going to play after certain divisional opponents. And we don't know that yet until the uh, that schedule is revealed. So, again, I think it's a good shot for this team to win 10 games. But, again, that's not far off that 9.5 over-under wins total that my bookie uh, posted. And so, for that reason, we wouldn't be getting involved with them. But we just wanted to give you some thoughts. We still think the best thing about that division is, is the Pittsburgh Steelers, who are being undervalued as far as I'm concerned by the public. Le'Veon Bell, so what he went to the Jets. He did not play for Pittsburgh, as you know, last year. And the two uh, running backs that they used and mixed carries up with actually gained more yards per carry than Le'Veon Bell did the year before. Um, they had a better first down percentage than they did when Le'Veon Bell was carrying the football two seasons ago. The one thing Bell can do is, you know, pass catch out of the backfield better than those guys. But again, uh, you're looking at not a drop-off for the Pittsburgh Steelers in that category, and then you don't have Antonio Brown anymore, which means a lot of the drama goes by the wayside with him going to the Oakland Raiders. So anyway, some thoughts on uh, some of the numbers that have been posted, uh, both in Las Vegas and offshore, uh, involving the Cleveland Browns, the Pittsburgh Steelers, all that good stuff. And of course, as uh, over-under win props on all the teams are posted a little bit down the road, we'll certainly be jumping on and, and releasing a few of those. We did well again last year, had a fantastic NFL season once again. We just continue to dominate the NFL. We've placed in the top 20 in the Westgate Super Contest. College football has been great, as you can tell. I can't wait till September. Anyway, uh, I digress. Let's get to the free pick for Thursday's card, and we'll look to get back in the win column here and start a new win streak with the free picks. Been really doing well with the conference tournament picks. Premium plays again, 3-1 and one yesterday, uh, but we did lose the free pick. Let's get back on track here with Team 786. Northern Colorado laying 7.5 to Southern Utah. Game time, 7.30 p.m. Pacific. Had Northern Colorado as a premium pick last Thursday at Southern Utah, and they whipped uh, the Thunderbirds pretty good. In fact, the Bears have been a matchup nightmare this year for Southern Utah. Uh, they won both games by double digits. They nailed over 47% of their shots in the two games combined, and they out-rebounded SUU 76-63 to in those two games. The boys from Cedar City, Utah, made just 36% of their shots in the two losses to Northern Colorado. They have shot a horrible 10 of 40, 25% from the three-point line in those losses. We should also note that SUU finished the two meetings with only 20 assists and 30 turnovers. They've got a couple of weaknesses against Northern Colorado, more than a couple. But overall on the season, they don't play great in the deep perimeter on defense, as we've seen in the last half dozen games. And they average less than six steals per game. In fact, going into that Northern Colorado game last week, they were averaging about four and a half steals per game in their last five. And here's the thing, the Bears, Northern Colorado, they take care of the rock as it is, and they're on the high side 
of an average score of about 78 to 69 in their last 30 games against teams that average less than six steals per game. If you can't force Northern Colorado to turn the ball over, you don't have a great shot to beat this basketball team. And uh, just because it's the third meeting and they've lost the first two, we don't think that that means that Southern Utah is going to come out and find the sweet elixir here. Uh, we just think the matchups are too far in advantage of Northern Colorado. So we're going to back the Bears minus the 7.5 over Southern Utah. That's the free pick. Don't forget about those uh, premium picks, the big plays, over at DocSports.com, revealed on Thursday morning at DocSports. You can use that $60 free account to check it out if you like. Uh, but again, two plays in college basketball. We look to continue our winning uh, ways so far in the conference tournaments, and that includes a big six-unit play. Don't get much bigger than that. Six-unit, seven-unit, eight-unit. That's as big as they get, and we've got a big one on Thursday. Six-unit play and a four-unit play coming off the three-and-one Wednesday. Don't forget about the NBA and the NHL. All right, that's going to do it for Thursday. Uh, be sure to uh, click on that thumbs-up button if you like these videos, and be sure to subscribe. We Appreciate those who have done so thus far. I'm Scott Sprites for DocSports.com. Put Thursday in the win column right back here Friday, 4 a.m. Eastern, 1 a.m. Pacific.